Hi, I'm Brian Torf, and I'm here today to talk to you about the importance of the bent note in popular music. The bent note, or the blue note, is everywhere that you hear in popular music today, whether it's blues, rock, jazz, hip-hop, funk, gospel music, country music. It's imbued with a sound that came from Africa. And so when African slaves came to America from 1619 on, they sang a very different way than a lot of the European settlers who were here in America. If you came from Europe, you were probably singing something like the diatonic major scale, the do, re, mi, right? So your chords were all based on this diatonic scale. That's not the way Africans who came to America through slavery sang. They sang notes in between these notes on the keyboard. They would bend the note. They would shape the note to whatever emotion they were feeling at that particular time. So in a way they were singing between the cracks on the piano. So the whole system of European harmony that had been established over 300 years suddenly was now being transformed into something else. And that bent note basically meant instead of singing from one note to another, now they could sing. And slide from one note to the next. You can't play that on the piano really, and you can't certainly write it down in music notation. So what happened then? You had slaves singing in the field and also singing in churches, first white and then black churches, and they would sing this bent note type of sound. Well, it eventually had to move across to musical instruments. And an example of this would be the harmonica. The harmonica is a German instrument. It came to America in the 1800s, maybe around the middle 1800s, we're not exactly sure. And it was cheap, it was portable, and it was a, a favorite of soldiers during the Civil War, both in the uh, Union Army and the Confederacy. In the Union Army, you had black infantries and you had white infantries. And a Colonel Higginson wrote that he really noticed that the black infantries, maybe singing on the other side of the river at night, sang differently. They sang with this plaintive bent note type of sound. Later it would be called the blue note. And they also, he also noticed they played uh, the harmonica in a different way. Now, how the harmonica, if you just play it straight, it sounds like this. think that's the way the black soldiers in the Union Army played it. They bent the note. And so what they did was they took this German instrument, which was really made for German folk music uh, primarily, and now they, instead of playing the note straight, they did this. sound because now you have an instrument that does this. And it really expresses something. It says something very, very different. And again, it's not something you could do on an instrument like the piano, at least not to that degree. Well, this eventually then will find its way in the way they play the banjo, the trumpet, the trombone, the saxophone. Um, and this instrument here, the guitar. You had really two kinds of blues in the early 20th century. We don't know exactly when it started, but
but you had city blues, the kind of blues that Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey sang, which was usually female vocalists with jazz band accompanists, like a trumpet, a piano player, banjo perhaps. But in the way outbacks of the Delta, where you had farm workers gathering in juke joints, right, one room shacks, and converting them into nightclubs, you needed entertainment. And the guitar started to become popular in the 1920s, largely due to the Sears Roebuck coming out with a mail order catalog. So now the guitarist tried to make the guitar sing. In other words, make that bent note sound, be able to do the things that he or she heard in the churches and in the fields. And so to bend a note on the guitar, it's such a common sound today, right? So that was one way of playing a bent note, was to pull on the string. And it's still, it's again, it's a sound you hear everywhere in rock, country. Um, I don't think there's hardly any type of popular music that hasn't been touched by this. But they went further. They played what we call either bottleneck or slide guitar. And the whole idea there was to, again, make the guitar sing. To make the guitar sing with that bent note, soulful type of sound. And in, in the beginning, they used beer bottles uh, and, and knock the uh, glass, body glass off and just use the, the bottleneck part. I'm going to use a metal slide and you'll hear what I mean. <laughs> So that's such a, to me, a soulful sound that is so expressive, says so much. So then you can imagine then Louis Armstrong playing bent notes on the trumpet and later on Jimi Hendrix on the guitar and we hear that type of singing voice in hip hop all the time and it's, it's really part of our musical language and I don't know what American music would be like or popular music in other countries that have been influenced by it without the bent note. I think what the bent note basically says was there was a wonderful European way of playing music and it was great, but the American way had to be different. It had to have a different sound. It had to come from a different place and it had to really reflect the joys and the struggles of the people who sang and played it. That is the bent note in American music and popular music around the world. I'm Brian Torr. Thanks a lot for watching.